Hello everyone, welcome to another video of slide scope related to WordPress. In this video, we are discussing about creating an e-commerce website from scratch in WordPress. And as you can see, we are using this domain, a subdomain called buyplants.rf.gd where we are trying to create a website uh, which where we can sell plants basically. So let me give you an example here. So this is an example website. Uh, something like this is what we are going to create. So you can see we, we have different type of plants here. Uh, and uh, people can choose from different categories of plants and there is a short description, a long description, add to cart, you can zoom on the images and so on. So this is what we are going to do and uh, the hosting that we are using for this demonstration is infinity free which is a free hosting as the name suggests but you can use any, uh, any of your hostings. So how to buy a domain, how to connect your domain with your hosting, this is something that we have discussed in great detail. So we also have this WordPress development for beginners learn from scratch, this course on Udemy. Uh, again, we are not selling this course, we will provide this course for free to whoever subscribes to our channel. and. After subscribing to our channel, just uh, comment in the comment section that you have subscribed. We'll give you a free coupon where you can join. So uh, this is uh, what we are doing here. And it has all uh, tutorials in great detail, starting from introduction, how to install in your computer, how to use script installers and all. And if you just want to see how WordPress installation and e-commerce website development is done, you can follow this tutorial also. So first of all, when you are in your C panel or your infinity panel, that's what we are using this time in order to install WordPress. So you, here uh, you have to search for an app called Softaculous app installer. Again, in different type of hostings, there are different type of panels that are used. So this is one such example. Obviously, uh, those are called script auto installers or script installers or sometimes WordPress installers. But the process will be more or less same. And I think cPanel is something which is there in almost all you know, good hostings. So now we are here. We can see WordPress, Joomla, Avente card. You can see it has a lot more than just WordPress. So you can try these things also, but we are installing WordPress. And now here you have to select your protocol. Currently we will select HTTP. Uh, if you have SSL server installed on your server, then obviously you can use HTTPS. We are not putting www in front of our website because it is, it is shorter and easier to remember by plans.rf.gd. Although it's a subdomain, you can install it on a subdomain or a main domain, it's your choice. Here uh, we have my blog, my description, and let's write some plant admin. I will choose the password. You can give your admin email and then you have to install. So I will pause and put a password and admin username here. So I have my admin So as you can see installation has started and once the installation is done you can see your website and its administration interface So this is the public website how it will look Again, uh, obviously we are going to customize it and this is the backend. So now what we are going to do here is we will first go to plugins. We will install and uninstall all unnecessary plugins first we will uninstall. So we will uninstall and let's start adding plugins. And before we start adding plugins, we will first go to themes. 
and change our theme. So we will change a new theme and uh, we'll install Astra. You can use Ocean WP or Cadence. These are also good themes. We are using Astra because Astra has a starter templates and those starter templates as you can see here those starter templates will help you in setting up your website so after installing Astra go to plugins and go to add new plugin in add new plugin add you can add uh, starter templates so just add a starter template and install a starter templates because these starter templates have a lot of uh, other pre-made website for any type of website you can use a starter template which we will just see and in a starter templates you can try the new AI builder but we will use the classic uh, starter templates and here you can choose any of your favorite page builder so we recommend Elementor but you can choose any other page builder if you are familiar with that but uh, Elementor is very easy to use and it has a lot more cool features so here you can see the starter templates these are pre-made websites and as you can see here so the web uh, as we promised we will create a plants website so what we are going to do here is this is a paid template you can you have to search for free template so this is one plant shop website so we can choose this also and uh, let's build up this website so whatever theme you think is good for you you can choose that and in Astra we have options to customize the color palette and everything like you can choose this style the button colors and you know, the different call to actions and these colors will be red since we are doing it for a planned website, so we will choose accordingly. And you can see it will install all the necessary plugins. It will add these products as examples, which you can uh, remove or edit. Now, you can upload your logo here, uh, but we will just. So, I have uploaded a file and selected one of the plant images as the logo which you can see here obviously it is not looking good which, which you have to customize also you have to choose a transparent background so there is a website called remove bg which will remove background from images let me do so you can see here it has already removed the background so you can use this and apply here now let's just continue here you can provide your first name work email if you want otherwise you, you can check all these options like import customizer setting import widgets install plugins and all and just submit the data and create your website so it is currently seven percent we will wait for it so I have a checklist for you in theme we have Astra or Astra theme in plugins we have starter templates in page builder we have Elementor we are using a free version of Elementor if you like the free version obviously you can go for the paid version but in free version also we will get sufficient amount of options then we have WooCommerce for the e-commerce part like the add to cart functionality the products the shop the shop category the shop tags all those things will be done using WooCommerce it, you will get shipping options, billing options, all different type of settings which obviously as I said we have already included in our course which you can get for free. 
So now we have WooCommerce e. This is something that you don't have to install. It will install automatically and it will add other plugins also. So as you can see here, uh, the progress is 47%. Let's wait for it. It is importing all the plant medias, right? The uh, All the plants in dem demo that you can see here, right? These demo plant medias. If you don't want that, you, you can uncheck that part, but I recommend that you just install as it is and then after installing, you can remove these products and add your own products. Progress is uh, 90% and you can see some confetti flying, our website is ready. And you can see here, our website is already created here. And you can click on these products to view them, how, how they, they, it is appearing. You can go to dashboard. And in the dashboard, you will see different options to manage your WordPress, manage your WooCommerce. As you can see, WooCommerce, you can go to settings where you can set up your stores, shipping, billing, uh, information related to payments, emails. This is something uh, which will need some time. So, as I said, we have already dedicated videos for this in our course, which you can go and uh, explore. And th these are the uh, you know uh, this where you will ship your products, the countries and everything you can explore here. There are some plugins that extra templates will install for you. And these are the plugin card flows, check out plugin for Stripe for WooCommerce. Again, uh, as per your, suppose your bank account is in some particular, suppose your bank account is there where, uh, you know, official bank account from where you operate, from where you will operate your website's transactions so they will also let you know what plugin they support in most cases if you don't have any bank account you can use plugins like pay you money cc avenue if you are in india and stripe is something that works for most of the international uh, bank accounts so you this is something that you have to uh, choose carefully Elementor, as I told, is a page with the starter templates is what we have developed. Variation swatches are used to change the version of your, you know, provide some variations to your products. And WooCommerce, and you can choose WP Forms Lite as your default form plugin. It is used to create forms. And there is one more plugin which is called Forminator which is free and you can use Forminator also to create forms for your website. So this is this was a very short uh, video where we just tried to demonstrate how to create a website and uh, here are the products so you can uh, go and edit your products. Here you can see it has already created some accessories also, plant accessories indoor plants, low maintenance, you can click edit. For some reason, because this is a free hosting, uh, uh, as you can see, because of free hosting, it is not opening, but when you'll do it on a paid hosting, it will open. And if I'll try it some, after some time, it will let me edit. Let me show you how it is. So you can edit product. And it looks like this. So you can add name of your product, its image, its regular price, the sale price, how much do you have in your inventory, uh, what is the shipping information, weight, dimensions, if there are any upsell or cross-sell products, if it is different attributes, like size or color and different things are there. 
you can choose your category and then you can publish your product so try all of this if you have doubts obviously you can comment in the comment section and we'll try to uh, answer your doubts thanks for watching